What's up, XRP fam? What's up, crypto family? It's the bag man back in the building. How's everybody doing out there? I hope y'all are doing well, holding strong, stuffing those bags, and continuing to stay bullish out there. Got a lot of red in the market today. I got a couple XRP and news articles to go over. Let's go ahead and dive into this video. XRP down 6.8% in the past 24 hours, down to 27 cents. Bitcoin 35,000, Ethereum 11.50, ADA 30 cents, Polkadot $13, Chainlink $18, XLM 27 cents out of the top 10, Binance $40 back in the top 10. Almost 100 million XRP shifted by Ripple, Bitfinex, and Coinbase. Crypto Tractor Well Alerts has reported that nearly 100 million XRP coins have been moved by Ripple in top tier cryptocurrency exchanges, Bitfinex, and Coinbase. A lot of XRP being moved around still despite the SEC lawsuit. Ripple Partners, mobile money for wallet-to-wallet -wallet payments between Malaysia and Bangladesh. Here goes the Ripple Insights here. Bcash and mobile money connect through RippleNet to power wallet-to-wallet -wallet remittances. Today, we're thrilled to announce our partnership with Mobile Money, a Malaysian mobile wallet company. Through RippleNet, Ripple's global payment network, Mobile Money has connected to Bcash, Bangladesh's largest provider of mobile financial services, which serves over 45 million users. The partnership will power seamless wallet-to-wallet -wallet payments to serve the remittance quarter between Malaysia and Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the third largest remittance flows in South Asia and the 11th largest worldwide. Mobile Money is also anticipating an increase increase in its user base of Bangladesh workers by 20% as it enables them to better serve their user base. And we have some quotes here from the CEO of Bcash from the founder of Mobile Money. And they're saying XRP brings cost effective and convenient e-payment solutions to our customers. Bcash says, we are constantly exploring innovative ways to give simple solutions to our customers. Bcash is happy to have partnered with Ripple in collaboration with Mutual Trust Bank of Bangladesh to deliver cost-effective, fast, transparent, and reliable remittance sending experience to more than 10 million non-resident Bangladeshis all over the world. This partnership will be great convenience to both recipients and senders and contribute further to our national economy by encouraging inward foreign remittance flows through legal channels. Founder of Mobile Money says our focus has always been on providing simple, cost-effective, convenient e-payment solutions to our customers. More than ever, the pandemic has demonstrated that there is a strong need for remittance solutions that enable people to transfer money anytime, anywhere. Our partnership with Ripple makes us one of the few e-wallet companies to offer such digital remittance solutions to Bangladeshi workers, and we're confident that it will enable us to stay ahead of the competition while expanding our user base. So Bcash and mobile money using XRP, using the Ripple net to send money, making it cheaper, faster. They are also using XRP and the Ripple net to stay ahead of the competition. While the SEC is still fighting Ripple in courts, we have other countries starting to build on XRP while XRP continues to expand its team around the world. Ripple is keen to bring greater connectivity and convenience for the Bangladeshi population and provide them with a more streamlined, frictionless cross-border payment experience, said Navin, Manager Director of South Asia and MENA. As Ripple is bolstering our presence in South Asia, we are excited to contribute to the infrastructure of the region to transform the way cross-border payments are executed. Ripple unveils the plan to expand its presence in Europe with the new hire amid SEC lawsuit. Searching for a new managing director for the region may be an indication that Ripple has not given up on the XRP and plans to go through with pursuing the case to the end. The new managing director will be in charge of partnerships and businesses in the continent and the government relations as well as representing the company in the media. Here goes the job application right here. Managing director, RippleNet Europe. Ripple is sharpening its focus on dynamic payments landscape across Europe. We are looking for an executive reporting directly to the GM of RippleNet to help lead efforts in the region and support our fast growing team in London. Ripple hiring a managing director for RippleNet Europe, continuing to expand the team around the world, building a digital asset corridor between Switzerland, Japan, and Singapore. 
SBI Digital Asset recently announced a joint venture with the Swiss Digital Exchange SDX to create a digital asset trading platform in Singapore. The Japanese group is also setting up an investment fund with the Swiss Digital Asset Bank. The fund hopes to raise up to 75 million and will focus on distributed ledger technology, infrastructure, decentralized finance, and red tech in Europe and Asia. So SBI building a digital asset corridor between Switzerland, Japan, and Singapore. It seems like 2021 is going to be massive for cryptocurrencies. Mass adoption is on the horizon. If anybody out there holding Litecoin, Flare Networks just published this blog here. On Friday, we announced that Litecoin will be integrated as an F asset on the Flare Network launch. This post is intended both as a guide for anyone new to Flare and as a specific information for Litecoin holders. So anyone interested, if you're holding Litecoin, Flare Network's doing a Flare airdrop for Litecoin holders. I'll have all the links down below if you are interested. IMF putting out a tweet here, official hashtag digital currencies might allow private citizens to open accounts with central banks for the first time. What does that mean? New IMF staff research looks into legal implications of various CBDC designs being considered around the world. So the IMF saying digital currencies might allow private citizens to open up accounts with central banks for the first time. We also have a crypto anti-terrorism bill introduced in the u.s house of representatives a bipartisan group of representatives has introduced a bill to the house that seeks to create a task force focused on combating terrorist financing via cryptocurrencies so a lot of cryptocurrencies in the headlines as 2021 jumps off 2021 other than that that's all i have for this video xrp down a little bit 27 cents we still have our timer here 15 days to see if xrp makes a move like the last bull run but I am the bag man. I am not a financial advisor, but y'all know what I'm stuffing my bags with. And it's the best, the fastest, the most secure, most scalable, most cost efficient, eco friendly. Send money anywhere around the world instantly. I hope y'all continue to stay bullish out there. Continue stuffing those bags. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, crypto family.